are are researchers have they been intimidated by what's going on here? I think that it's safe to say that these kinds of actions have often hit their mark. They induce fear, but the question is, what do you do about it? Do you stay at home? Do you cower? Um, or do you develop a resoluteness and a commitment to moving in a different direction along a pathway that's going to counteract that? And it took us a while, but here today, we've reached that point. Researchers at UCLA dare to change things for the better in our world. They are courageous and they shouldn't have to worry about threats to their safety. They should be able to pursue breakthrough discoveries peacefully so that they may change lives all over the world, here in the United States and everywhere. What do we want? 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 Hello, Salad! Ammo Research! Anesthetic! Ammo Research! Insulin! Ammo Research! Vaccine! Ammo Research! Antibiotic! Ammo Research! Transplant! Ammo Research! MRI! Ammo Research! Penicillin! Ammo Research! Yes, the cancer! What's the answer? Ammo Research! Practically every present-day protocol for the prevention, treatment, and cure of disease and relief of pain and suffering is based on knowledge attained directly or indirectly from research on animals. Animal research saved my son's life. Look to your right. Look to your left. You'll find someone who is either greatly benefited or even have their life saved by the products of animal research. That is what is at stake here. That is why we cannot bow into silence. There are people who couldn't make the rally today in the court of sciences all around. People who are worried, people who want to know that their research matters. So with all of you here at once, I want you to join me in a chant. No more threats, no more fear. Animal research wanted here! No more threats! No more fear! Animal research wanted here! No more threats!